What is happening, everybody? We are back with another reaction video. And we'll be reacting to... It's time for Death Battle! Thanos versus Darkseid. And I'm sure all the fanboys are going to be all in the comment section. Well, actually, Thanos should win. And actually, Darkseid should win because he's more good. And Thanos should because he has the Infinity Gun. Like... <laughs> Oh, uh, I used to be like that. Like when I was a kid, uh, I used to argue up and down with my friends about who would be who. And then when anime, because I get exposed to anime very early. Like the first anime I ever watched was Fist of the North Star. Way back in like, like 1990, that I remember. And, uh, and, and anybody seen and I think that movie was made in 84. Uh, anybody seen Fist of No Star? I was like four years old or something like that. Well, I was turn, turning four that year. <laughs> I was very young to be watching Fist of No Star. Anyone's seen that. <laughs> but that was my introduction to the anime world. And I had so many. I introduced like some of my other friends into anime and uh yeah, like oh, I'm talking about more like more vicious anime, like Akira. Uh, it was another anime I can't remember. I watched. I actually watched it not that long. Like a a guy and a demon chick. I might put it in, like edit it in the name of it. Might look it up. It's like them and a demon chick, and it's like they partnered up, and they had some type of underground like organization to hunt down demons and shit like that. But anyway, like, and then we start bringing that. Oh, I, this anime person would be a Goku would be Superman, and I was like, no, Superman would be Goku. And I was, I was always, I was always say Superman would be Goku. Even back in the when I first started watching Dragon Balls, I think I want to say in two thousand and one, when it started coming on Toonami, or it's Cartoon Network or Toonami, it might have been Toonami, I think started coming on. And I used to, and people say Goku beats Superman. I was, I was like, no, that was back then. I mean, Goku's hair has changed like six times now, but I still say Superman won. Any, anyway, uh, that's a time old debate that I never fucking get old. And every time someone brings it, I, I, I actually treat that now like politics. Like when someone brings up. Uh, I've had that when I've gone like, in college and stuff, going to class, and people have brought up like that and brought up Goku and you know, Goku win or Vegeta win. I was like, I, I, was like, I don't even talk about it because people get real in their feelings about it. And I was like, I can't even have a discussion about it anymore and just debate about who will win. It, it, it turns into a pubescent child like argument. And I'm just like, I don't even like, like politics. It turns into a fucking argument. You can't even, like, what's, you know, what's, the, what's good for the whole country? Not, oh, well, I'm right because I'm a Republican or I'm right because I'm a Democrat. How about we all come together and see what's the best for the country? Not just because I'm, I'm, I agree because I'm over here and I agree because I'm over there. Anyway, that's not what just started. This, y'all came here to see Thanos. Versus motherfucking dark side. So let's get into this. Alright, here we go. Power. Some spend Heck their uh, lives Achilles. while for others it is their birthright. But what Riddick. truly matters in the end is how it's used. Like with Thanos, the ultimate villain of the Avengers. And Darkseid, arch nemesis. I think Darkseid's gonna win. He's whiz and I'm boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Because Darkseid does have the, um. Over a million the, uh, years ago, anti life when evolution first broke away from the apes, the cosmic celestials arrived on Earth. 
I'm gonna go with darks. Creating three but I know most people gonna go with powerful and beautiful eternals uh, destined for immortality. Thanos, but I actually legitimately think dark side will spawn the X-Men and a deformed, disturbing subspecies known as the Deviants. Like that one website with all the porn. What? <laughs> anyway, the Eternals <laughs> I was thinking, colonized what? the moons of Saturn thanks to this science wizard named Mentor, whose collar's like the lampshade I put on my dog to make him step. Why would you have your collar that long? It, it just fucks up like your peripheral vision. People. Mentor's own son would change this forever. And his own idiot son. His name was Looks like Thanos. a giant old you bugger. A fool to betray me, Rhoda. Prepare. You were a fool. Thanos was born into a life Ooh. of luxury. Sure, his mom went totally insane. Tried to kill him. To kill him right away, but what do you think you'd do if you popped out a creepy California raisin baby? It seems the Celestials' experiments were California so different raisin. Despite his eternal heritage, Thanos' large disproportionate body and thick... Isn't he a mutant of his people? Mutation. Yeah, Which he's you'd a... think would mean everyone would hate him, but nope. The Eternals were super progressive and totally cool with a wrinkly grimace walking around. In fact, Thanos was greatly admired for his <laughs> exceptional intelligence and creativity. He was set for a positive... Oh yeah, I remember reading future. that, yeah. Until he threw it all away for a girl. Hey, I don't oh, blame death. him. Lots of guys do crazy shit for hot chicks. Especially when you're a secret murder-happy psycho who's obsessed with the physical manifestation of death. To earn death's reciprocal love, Thanos... I always thought that was stupid to me. To ravage the universe in I mean, it's kind of interesting, yeah, but it, at, after so long, it's just like, this is stupid. Do it. He was already <laughs> the strongest and fastest Eternal around, but he boosted his power even more with bionic and magic enhancements. And while his physical and psionic abilities are impressive, so he's basically his Dr. Doom. genius led to building massive spaceships, shields that can withstand planet-level attacks, and even a Except on a cosmic scale. The Until they made God it Doom. With its own laser weapons, light speed travel, and it can teleport through space and time. And unlike most Eternals, Thanos has also dabbled in the mystic arts. Petrification, curses, even some of his throne's abilities seem to be more magic than hard science. All of this potential. <laughs> oh, does I make it this shit off me, boy? <laughs> yeah, good luck trying to hurt him. He can survive pretty much anything, including oh, the for one drop of blood. Designed to kill him. He even shot himself in the face with it just to prove how goddamn awesome he is. <laughs> don't, don't try that at home, kids. He's strong enough to overpower two Thors at once, snap a universal weapon known for its extreme durability, and even lift the gargantuan Galactus engine. A giant super rocket big enough to move planets. He working out. Mr. Fantastic, and that guy knows his stuff. This thing is hundreds of miles long. While the Galactus engine's size seems to vary. Yeah, because it didn't look like it was hundreds of miles compared to. When it propelled Ego the Living. To dark, I mean dark. Compared to Thanos right there. Applying the density of steel and comparing Ego's diameter of 4,165 miles, we found that Thanos must be lifting about 50 quintillion tons. That's like holding up 140 trillion Empire State Buildings. And he's doing this inside the gut of a living Kurt Russell planet that eats other planets <laughs> and even Ego. stars. Man, I thought I had an iron stomach. But destroying a star isn't a simple thing. Any energy directed towards sure it is. You just punch it. Adapted to. Only by completely nullifying a star's constant energy output can it be eliminated. So Ego's stomach acid must be deadlier than freaking supernovas or a black hole. He'd probably love Mama Boomstick's world-famous ghost pepper pie. Ugh. Of course, did Mama look exactly like him? Paste. Surviving the stomach of Ego squirrel isn't paste. so far-fetched for Thanos, considering he's also survived a dip in a black hole, extreme reality of course warping he across has. the metaverse, Everybody and survived. the of black bolt. A dip What's in a black hole. About this guy, you ask? Well, well, well that was actually whisper, a scroll, but it doesn't matter because he had the exact same powers. This guy can easily light bulb. A planet with just one shout, and then you have all his things. memories and shit, Although so Thanos he's isn't light bulb. For being a speed technically, character, he's still quick enough to battle the likes of Silver Surfer, a being who can cover 500,000 light years in just a couple of seconds, putting him over three so million circus, times. And that's an OP light. character. With so many like, impressive showings, it's people, hard to you talk about Superman. Yeah, I like Silver Surfer's old. Oh God damn it! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Glad to be here. I was surprised they had a cartoon of him back in the day. I was like, even back then he was like extremely powerful, which is probably why that showed him last that long. Enough of me. Thanos just hates that. 
Well, Thanos did curse him so he couldn't die and be with her. I know, right? He's a big purple crybaby. Have you seen that chin, though? It's like he got hit in the face with a slap chop. Don't you have, like, a party in Ponytown to be at? Ah, uh, come on, buddy. You can't have a death battle season without Deadpool, right? Oh, yeah. We did. The last one. <laughs> Nobody counts that one. I mean, that's a year you pit a dog in a trench coat against a goddamn bear. <laughs> what did you think would happen? <laughs> yeah. Whatever. <laughs> I know what I'm not wanted. See you next year. DP, out. Oh, good riddance. Even with all of these powers and abilities, Thanos still felt he needed something I guess something they had to have that in it, because of the whole death thing. he's compensating for something with? Oh, absolutely. Is so that, uh, the wild cat? Is that her name? A golden glove which harnessed the power of six multi I know there's a wild cat. Was it stone. Shadow Cat? With these, he could control the full I know there's a wild cat in DC. Reality, but... mind, power, soul, That's and a time. man. And with those powers so used to be an Xbox. He summons Captain Good plan. Planet. <laughs> Well, more like the destruction of half the universe, but sure, whatever. You should have gone for that. And when I was in the theaters, everybody was like, oh. Isn't the time stone the green one in Doctor Strange's necklace? Well, in the movie universe, the time stone is green, but in the original comic series, it's orange. This is because yeah, that's what I was getting confused. Infinity okay, that, I didn't even there. realize that, that they were different. The are different in color. Yeah, maybe because I don't. Follow this handy diagram I don't me. take the yeah, movies as like care. people take so the movies as canon. Stones, he wiped out half the universe with only a snap of his fingers. No people don't read the comic books, which is most people. And began to doubt his ability to perform. <laughs> hey, uh, happens to the best of us. Yet it never needs some of that space fire. Whose constant lust for power cosmic, and godly status in the universe is only matched vibe. by his drive to just kill everybody. Dread it. Run from, Run from it. Destiny arrives all the same. And now it's here. Or should I say? I am. I am. I just wish, like, Ten billion years ago, tiny right old there. gods clashed in a cosmic civil war called Ragnarok. Is that the one with Thor and Jeff Goldblum? No. Yes, uh, kind of. <laughs> Were those the battle bloopers? was so great what that was... the result was an explosion that tore the gods asunder. Oh yeah, they made new Genesis and Apocalypse. Eventually birthing a new generation known as the New, new gods. gods. How original! Well, some of these include Alpine Space. Gear, Wasn't that original thing? And this cyborg spider but at the time, I mean, now it's not. Guys ended up on a beautiful I paradise world called New I remember Genesis. Well, did the that rest before. got stuck on an actual fireball called Apocalypse. But with a K. Did, Among these the, damn the re souls some of that. Second in line to the throne behind his older brother, Drax. Not Dave Batista Drax, but DC Drax. Oh man, I really like that guy. He's not afraid to see what he's thinking. You are horrifying to look at. Yes. <laughs> to rule Apocalypse, Drax that was meant to talk. enter the mysterious Omega Pit and absorb the Omega Effect, a force of destructive entropy bound within Apocalypse. But being the crafty bastard he was, Euxus tricked DC Drax into getting killed and stole the loot for himself. And so the Omega Effect transformed Euxus into the physical manifestation of tyranny. Dark side. So he basically got a boost. A very big boost. As the king of apocalypse, Dark Side entered a world of the heavy. Whether he was two hundred forty-five or given the man of steel a hard time, Dark Side was always working toward his one goal: conquering all life. And thanks to his new god physiology, he has <laughs> incredible superhuman shit. strength, speed, agility, and even immortality. He's already over 245,000 years old, and that's given him plenty of time to push the limits of the Omega Effect. He's got a whole bunch of cool Omega powers that break all the rules of nature. He can teleport across time and space. No, you do is just stab him in his eyes. Warp reality around him. You gotta get close enough size. without Something he's getting pretty murdered. Used to doing. The scale between the Prime Universe and Darkseid's own universe, the Fourth World, is vast. He travels between universes via boom tubes, which automatically adjusts his size to what is considered normal within his destination. Otherwise, he'd have a hard time fitting in, given that the normal size of a new god is about the size of a star. 
<laughs> yeah. yeah. I've had that kind of trouble with. I remember I read that. I was too. like, what? He can use various psionic powers like telekinesis and telepathy, and can easily manipulate sentient Reminds beings me of thanks to a cosmic awareness of the multiverse powered by 18 divine uh, senses. The Percy you know, Jackson with all those guys free. like gigantic, and they can like a space make themselves age necromancer. small. Darkseid can possess living or deceased beings, controlling them like puppets. He can even control basic inanimate objects, just like the Nomad of Nowhere. Blah, holy shit! Uh, Wiz, never thought I'd say this, but I might have had too much to drink. But Darkseid's deadliest technique is his signature Omega Beams. These burning lasers of yeah, hatred are send people back in turns time. and tracking multiple targets at once. They're splitting up. They can do that? They're locked on us. On contact, the beams can either disintegrate their target, transmute matter. I always thought that was cool the way it just does that. It doesn't the go Omega straight. Yeah, it always the has Omega like sanction is a sort of life trap. Its target enters a self-contained reality where they live out an infinite number of lives for eternity. Oh, that doesn't sound so bad. I'd just do a Bill Murray and use all those lives to learn piano or save a dog or... Yeah, that's probably about it. Well, there's a catch. <laughs> Each life in the sanction gets progressively worse as it goes. I haven't seen that movie in a while. Die. When the third Mr. Miracle was trapped in it, Years. he was fairly unaware until he was beaten, burned, mutilated, and castrated, broken to a point oh. of intentionally overdosing. And that was just his first life in the sanction. Oh. Sheesh. Uh, no thanks. I'm good. To overpower the multiverse, Darkseid would face some pretty steep competition. However, his power eclipses those. I love the way he's whooping Green Lantern's ass in that movie. He's fast enough to take a trip to the Source Wall in just a few seconds. That's at the very edge of existence. So, like, you're not gonna be able to map quest that shit. <laughs> the edge of the observable universe is about 45 billion light years away, and scientists hypothesize the actual scale is over 106 trillion times greater. It took a whole year yeah, especially since the universe to make this is journey. expanding but too. Side, so that means you have to actually travel faster to than the universe off, is expanding to, to get to the end of the wall. Decillion times the speed of light. Which well, that's in our totally universe. Real number that DC, and maybe the universe but if he's stopped. Super big in fourth world. Well, we know. Wouldn't he have an easier time getting to the edge? We're factoring the scaling across his universe as a whole. Besides, technically, the fourth world is four billion years older than our own universe, so the distance to the edge is probably even further. He's so quick, he can choke out Superman before he even sees him move, or knock him out cold in just a few bitch slaps. And Superman can survive supernovas to the face. Also, since Darkseid wasn't a big mean, hey, not everything makes reboot, sense it's comic, still it's common that he can blitz pre-crisis soups. Who can sneeze solar systems away? Darkseid is strong enough to crush a lantern ring with ease, destroy planets with his Omega Beams, and wipe out the Justice League with a single strike. Even with all this power, Darkseid believed he could not dominate the universe until he discovered his ultimate prize. The anti-life -life equation. equation. Ha! I knew numbers were bad for you! Take that, Miss Jensen, and your stupid ruler! The anti-life is technically an entity of its own, a fragmented piece of the source from which all life originates. However, Darkseid they didn't say that Superman has beaten Darkseid. presence in so, all living man. things, in a manner which definitively proves that all freedom and hope. But that's are not what this is about. Efforts. It's about Darkseid. So it's math that just makes you sad. Yes, and a slave to Darkseid, but yes. So the anti-life is pretty weird, but you know what's even more so? The Darkseid that you think you know isn't actually Darkseid. Say what now? He became the very essence of tyranny itself. This non corporeal god rests in the higher plane of Fourth World and molds avatars of his consciousness to interact with the multiverse around him. While each avatar is weaker than his true self, I don't think I've heard that. Necessary <laughs> handicap, as his own existence in a universe other than Fourth World would shatter the laws of reality, ending time and space as we know it. The sheer power of the Omega Effect threatens entire cosmos. Similar to how its equal, the Astro Force, could counter an Oblivion Bomb, capable of annihilating the universe in a single blast. Holy shit! Oh, His avatar may lose some power, but it's still tough enough to survive a bomb Lex Luthor designed to rip apart existence, and a shot from Marvelous Marco's what? Master Blaster, which sounds like it was made <laughs> yes. up by a circus clown, and that kind of makes sense because apparently no life form can stand up to it, just hey. like clowns. Except for Darkseid. Well, Darkseid isn't immune to all guns. 
All you need is a neat little oh, radion. Yeah, radion. Think of Radion as the new god's kryptonite. Despite all his power, Gotta give him some weakness. far from invincible. He's had his heart ripped out, his soul stolen by death, and his essence shattered by Superman, uh, singing. Hey, Darkseid, look at this photograph! To this day, even after so hey, many cataclysmic comics. events, the Lord of Apocalypse <laughs> continues his mission. Every living being in the multiverse will bend to the will of Darkseid. It seems I have you to thank for my resurrection. Though your world will suffer slowly, I grant you Damn, death. Yeah. Oh man, he was so cool in this fucking show. Darkseid was fucking cool. All right, cool. the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, I need something that can sate my godly hunger. It can fly, it can teleport, it'll send you through time and space, and it's oh, perfect this, for gaming. Uh, you follow me? <laughs> sure you do. You're a forward thinking. They like they put some money up in this one. At last, there it is. <laughs> they the Mar Mar versus Capcom. <laughs> Buddy, uh, how, how are you doing? Rocking that chin as always. Get off my throne and kneel. Face death at the hand of your new emperor. You know not the infinite wealth of destruction I command. Oh! <laughs> he just came! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, he, okay, this is why he refuses to take his hands from behind his back. Can he fly now? I thought Dark Side could fly now. Damn. Oh, Dark Side getting pissed off. Oh yeah, wasn't that in the comic books that a Thanos copter or some shit? It's something stupid. Sheesh. Everybody is dead. I was gonna hit him from behind. Ooh. Did you say Wayne Corp on it? <laughs> oh shit. Man. Uh, ping, ping pong, um, pinball. Fucking planets. Is that Jupiter? Well, just fuck this solar system, right? Supreme Thanos is God. The dark side hasn't hasn't opened up yet though. Oh shit. <laughs> I like how he grabbed that planet for leverage. Is he had an anti-life equation? Just think if you had this Thanos in Infinity War. He would have murdered, but then you had to have the, the Thor from the comic books too, so I mean, which is like a thousand times more powerful than the Thor in the comic books. Sheesh. 
these two motherfuckers. The fuck is happening? You go back in time? What is this? Oh no, they just destroyed it. Oh, I thought, I thought that was just Thanos, but I couldn't see Dark Side. These games bore me, but this will bring a smile to my face. Oh, shit. But he don't, ex that's just a, uh, yeah, he said that, that's just, uh, it's just basically an avatar. Is the consciousness Who are makes. Who are you? I like he just keeps snapping, he just keeps coming back. I'll show you. He's, he is the Alpha and the Omega. <laughs> this is who I am. What the fuck is that? He's like, uh-uh, that ain't gonna work here, buddy. He's like... Your reality is far from my own. You have no power. I am Thanos. I am all things. This is who I am. Okay. Maybe Thanos might pull it up. Okay, maybe not. He dead. Oh, I thought he was eating something. Oh my god, it's Deadpool with a gun. <laughs> the fuck? Oh, Deadpool just killed you. So you watching any anime? And then Superman comes up and beats him. Man. That's and one the hit. first way he could have gone out, because now he's going to be dying over and over and over. Thanos was an incredible foe, especially while wielding the Infinity Gauntlet. Unfortunately, the gauntlet had a fatal flaw. Yeah, that golden glove only works in its own universe, and Darkseid could easily... Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. ...with his boomstick tubes. Universe hopping is kind of his thing. The Reed Richards of the Interdimensional Council of Reeds figured this out. Its three founding members, Reed, Reed, and Reed, each possessed Infinity Gauntlets, yeah, yeah, but discovered I that they couldn't work outside of their own universe. The Gauntlet had no problem making Darkseid's avatar not feel so good, but since Darkseid's true form was always in the fourth world universe, Thanos couldn't actually finish him off with the Gauntlet. Even if this fight took place an entire so you weren't even really fighting the real Darkseid. Thanos's Gauntlet wouldn't work, and true Darkseid's presence would actually just destroy everything just by being there. But he didn't just lose because of the gun. Just by he being really couldn't just existing the destroyed. Even everything. going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a being as fast as Silver Surfer was nothing compared to when Darkseid took a trip to the edge of existence. This puts Darkseid almost 28 octillion times faster than Thanos. And I know people are gonna be like, oh, the DCs, the, all the characters are overpowered. Bombs, universe destroying blast. <laughs> this means the Omega effect and this is gonna be the new debate that's gonna close down forums and shit. Unlike Thanos, Darkseid can use his Omega powers whenever and wherever he wants. Once he lost the gauntlet, Thanos could certainly survive star level attacks and even greater. But universal destruction is definitely a bit more than his purple eternal hide could handle. And even after that, Darkseid had plenty of ways to end the fight whenever he wanted, like the Omega Sanction. Thanos was super powerful, but Darkseid was just faster, Holy stronger, head that and even more ruthless. And if you think about it, that reminds me of that movie Gladiator when they white guy hit but they side already uh, was one. Hit but they got his fist while he barks and run the gauntlet. Oh, you son of a bitch! Uh, the winner is Darkseid. Hey, thanks for watching this year's season finale. I know somebody's going to do a a, uh, a debunk video for this. Anytime they disagree, they do a debunk video. You should do a debunk video all the time. Not just when you disagree. They ain't going to say who they got coming up next. Nope. Oh. Well, that was fucking brilliant i was gonna say something else but that was tight they put some they put some they put some money in that
put quite a bit of money in that. I guess this is, that's the season finale, so it makes sense for it to be epic. Which that was. That that makes sense, though. Uh, like I said, I was going with Dark Side just because I always thought Dark Side was just more powerful, even with the Infinity Gauntlet. I mean, I know. You know, I mean, because Thanos isn't omnipotent. Like, a lot of people think he's, like, omnipotent when he has the gauntlet, but he's not. And he does get beaten. Like, but so does Dark Side. I mean, they're, they're villains, because you can say that by any. Well, this person beats this person, so that means they'll beat this person or win or whatever. It's like saying, oh, well, Batman has beaten Superman. And Superman has beaten Darkseid. So that technically means that Batman can beat Darkseid, which he kind of did right there. Even though Darkseid sent him, like, to the past. <laughs> but he still killed him. And you, uh, I was going to say somebody else. But, uh. But, I mean, look, Dark Side is just a beast. That's just the way it is. Like, we can sit here and cry about it in my person. Like, if I went with Thanos, or if I thought Thanos was going to win, I mean, I would still say the same thing. And I'm sure someone, uh, I'm sure someone's going to debunk because I mean, it's main. I mean, you know, these, these things with, with, with the people, they, it's a popularity contest. They're like, well, I think. Thanos will win because he had his own movie. He's a very popular villain this year, you know. But oh, I think this person went because this is this person right? because this is they they do popularity contests. That's probably why people more go more with like like with bad the science do because their whole thing is votes. <laughs> so it's just that that whole thing is a popularity contest. It's not based on someone doing analysis and read into the people's power and stuff like that but i mean like comic books are so convoluted i mean one moment thanos is basically is 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 it is it the one above all in marvel and the presence is dc or is that reverse well anyway like I, they have thanos beaten uh the beyonder or some shit even though i don't think he can ever do that i think the beyond is actually beating him but they have Thanos like fight him and fucking beat him and then in three, four issues or comic issues down the road, the beyond it just beats him like like nothing. No increase in power, but just you know, that's the way comics are. So I don't I never I never I never take them the two like cause even though like Spider Man back in the day, Spider Man you know, used to struggle lifting a, 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 a large truck over his head, you know, but now he can hold up the fucking Daily Bugle and shit. You know, Wolverine used to get, a uh, Wolverine used to uh, get stabbed like, through the torso and it took like months for him to heal from that. But now he heals at ground zero and a nuclear explosion in like a, a few minutes. His whole fucking body, right? It's a skeleton, of course. Well, you know, that's the comments. But anyway, what did y'all think about it? Did the person win who y'all wanted to win? If you didn't, why don't y'all discuss down in the comments section about how wrong they are? Let's, let's do this. That's what YouTube say. The comment section for telling everybody else how wrong they are, how your opinion is right. So, discuss amongst yourselves. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all later. Deuces.